Hi, I'm Pat. I'm Alex. And we're here to blind taste, or I'm blind tasting, three celebrity rosé wines. And I picked the wines. I've not had many celebrity wines, so I'm looking forward to it. They are wines that have a little bit of color in them. They're usually almost always made of red grapes. Occasionally you can do it with blending with white grapes, but these are all made with red grapes. And the amount of color that you get is a function of how long the skins sit in the juice. Sometimes it's just for a couple of hours. So when we look at the colors of these three wines, light pink with a hint of some tan or orange that in the UK people call that partridge oil. The second wine is almost looks like a white wine, right? Uh, just the tiniest hint of pink there. And the third being a bit more pink but a bit more yellow in color. So let's do the first one. Okay. Elegant on the nose. Doesn't pop out at you. Some floral berry and some slight spice. I think it's sort of similar flavors. And there's a creamy texture to the wine. Mm -hmm. It sort of coats my mouth nicely. And the finish is pretty long. And so for me, this is a banker that is from Provence, one of my favorite places in the world for rosé, uh, usually based upon Grenache. And it's, it's a... It's from Provence. <laughs> it is from Provence. And it's a nice wine. So rosé wines have become increasingly popular around the world. And with popularity comes increased demand, increased prices. So these wines, 10 years ago, used to be for about $10, $12. Now they're up into the low 20s. Very nice wine. I'd put it into the low 20s. It is $22. $22. So it's around the pay for it. Who is the celebrity? It is Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt Mirabal. It's a nice wine. Uh, though uh, I'm surprised that the elements of the wine aren't fighting one another. Uh, <laughs> a little divorce joke, but uh, they're obviously uh, very, very talented folks who've done a nice job with the uh, Provencal Rosé. Let's okay. do the next one as well. So, uh, lighter in color, though more aromatics, stone fruit, floral, strawberry. Nice depth of flavor. I like this one a lot. I think I even like it better than the first one. So this is a bit longer, a bit richer. And this I also thought was from the south of France. And it is from? It is from Languedoc. And so Languedoc is one of the biggest, I think it's the largest grape growing area in France. Literally a sea of wines and grow many of the same varieties plus others that grow in Provence or the Rhone Valley. There are real bargains to be had in Languedoc, and generally the wines can be less expensive. This wine reminds me of one of my favorite rosé producers, uh -huh. uh, which is called Domaine Ot. And Domaine Ot costs a lot. And Domaine Ot's uh, rosé is about 50 bucks. This What's... one's actually from Raymond Vineyards, mm -hmm. and it is $24. $24. So a bit expensive for a Languedoc, but very high quality. So I'd be happy to pay the $24 for that. This is John Legend. So, it's LVE Rosé. So we can say that this wine sings. Did the wine sing yes. for you? I liked this one a lot. We liked it a lot. I like this one a lot better than that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's elegant, but long. And more flavor under that curve. All right, so let's do the third wine. Again, pink is a hint of tan notes. And on the nose, I get some black pepper, or maybe a hint of green notes here. It's a bit muted. <laughs> and so I'm getting not a whole lot of fruit. I'm getting spice. And then I'm getting this buttery, popcorn-y taste going like on. So this <laughs> has got, well, you know, individual preference. Uh, for me, I could probably drink very chilled down on a day like today for free. I'd be happy to have a glass of it. That was my only choice. I initially thought it was from Bordeaux varieties because it had some leafiness, mm -hmm. but you told me it's from Pinot, so they're picking it early. So it's giving some of the leafiness mm -hmm. uh, and the pepper notes. And then 
they are having this thing called a malolactic fermentation going on that's in a way giving it richness but in a way is robbing it from fruit so this one I probably wouldn't purchase it <laughs> unless it was like eight dollars and and even then and you're saying <laughs> did you say this is Pinot Noir or Pinot Grigio Pinot Grigio Pinot Grigio and so you may ask yourself Pinot Grigio most Pinot Grigios are white wines mm -hmm. uh, it turns out genetically Pinot Bianco Pinot Blanc Pinot Gris or Pinot Grigio and Pinot Noir are almost identical. It's just slight mutations that change the color. So uh, the Pinot Noir grapes are deep purple black color, right? Mm -hmm. Pinot means sort of shaped like a pine cone. The bunch is shaped like a pine cone. Pinot Blanc, green grapes, and the uh, Pinot Gris grapes, or gray, they're not really gray grapes, but they are pink in color. And so if you leave Pinot Gris on the skins for a while, you can wind up with some color. But it's giving it slight pink, but also some of those tan notes. This wine is $20, and it is Sun Goddess, also by Mary J. Blige. Yeah, I liked her. I liked her. Sauvignon Blanc yeah. better. Yeah. So and we tasted three wines, all from the old world, two from France, uh, one from Italy, liked two of the three. Both of us preferred the middle wine. Yes, John Legends. And um, rosé wines are very flexible food wines, go with lots of different dishes, tend to make people happy. Could you talk about the color of the Pinot Grigio? Because I didn't know if it was a blush or a rosé. I mean, did you go through the colors? Yeah, uh, we did. Like but it, you know, since when we had said there's some slight pink, but there's also tan, and so... Uh, Is it copper? Or? It's almost a copper color, yes. And that's coming from the pink to gray skins of the Pinot Gris grape. So it's still considered a rosé then? I can say it's color. I don't know, honey. Did you get it in the rosé part? Or is there a separate place for our celebrity wine? All over the store. All over the store. So, I mean, generally, most Pinot Grigio is considered to be a white wine, though occasionally uh, one of the hints that it could be Pinot Gris or Pinot Grigio is this tan color with a slight hint of pink. So, does it belong here then? Well, even if it's a white wine, it's still bad. Yeah. So, so if, <laughs> you know, and, and we'll say that in a nicer way, well, but yeah, right, it's but, just not but even in comparison to the color. three whites that we had, and these three rose, three, two other rosé wines, this was the wine that was least, least was the least successful. <laughs> so we tasted six, you know, three whites now, three rosé celebrity wines. I was actually, frankly, surprised that they were as good as they were, and. God bless the people uh, making them. They're doing a good job. And they haven't raised the prices too much, which is a good thing. Yeah. Enjoy your explorations in wine. Drink mm -hmm. well, be well, eat well. And, and give subscribe. us some subscriptions, please. <laughs> and share. And <laughs> share. <laughs> Post your notifications. Share. <laughs> Sunny and share. Click that uh, notification bell. Click the notification bell. <laughs>